Hi everyone, I'm Charlene and today I am going to be sharing with you some of my recent makes. So I have got a few things to share. Um, I think I briefly shared a few of them in the last video that I did, but I um, yeah, I want to go into a wee bit more detail now this time. So first off is my new Nephilim blouse, which I'm wearing now. It is, the fabric is the Atelier Brunette um, Peony in Rust, Eco Bureau Viscose. And I had been talking before about how I'd, I've had this fabric for over a year now. It was originally supposed to be my Christmas dress from last year and I never got around to making it. And then I realized that I really wanted to make a top in it. I am, um, and couldn't quite decide then between making a top or a dress. Um, I really, really wanted to make both. So I realized I had, I can't remember if I had three or three and a half meters, but I realized I did have enough to get the Nephilim blouse and which is by Vivian Chow Chen and the Nelly dress, which is by Fiber Mood. So both of those patterns don't take up too much fabric. Um, and when I cut them out at the same time, I managed to get them all sort of squeezed into different shapes. So I am really, really pleased. I love, love, love this top. It goes with so much. I love the colors. It has these wee pleated sleeves, um, which are just a lovely wee detail. And yeah, I got the Atelier Brunette rust buttons to, to match it. So, and they're just a perfect, absolutely perfect match. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased with this one. I think um, the Nephilim blouse, I was having a look this morning. I think I've made six of them now um, and I could keep making them. I just really, really love it. It's very similar to the Anthea, Anna Allen Anthea, which I've made quite a few of as well, but it doesn't have the really big puff shoulder, which I love. I really do love, but this sort of just normal, set in sleeve does make it a tiny wee bit more wearable especially during the winter when you do have to wear cardigans and all that sort of thing that wee bit more so yeah it's um it is a wee bit more practical but the construction is very very similar um it has a button placket and a bias by neckline the only real difference would be the sleeves so yeah i love this and then the nelly dress is a shorter style dress it's just like a wee sort of a-line swing dress it's quite loose and floaty and long sleeves like a bell sleeve um so quite wide at the cuff and i just love it i really really love it it's so easy to wear especially now with tights and boots i don't think i would wear it maybe will wear it during the summer um but i definitely would need to wear a pair of shorts under because it, it is quite short but with tights and boots it's perfect it's really really nice so that is my third one I had made it before in the botanist's garden viscose linen which is a gorgeous floral like really bright magentas and greens and yellows it's just it's absolutely beautiful um I'll put a wee picture in but we still have that in stock as well um so yeah I'm extremely happy that this fabric is now out of my stash and I can wear it because I really really love it um then I have also made a self-drafted shirt in the sea glass viscose, which I, again, absolutely love. The, the fabric is just, it's amazing. It is so, so lovely. As I was making it, every time I got up to, you know, press it or do something, you just seen a new color or a new shape or it just, it's so beautiful. It really, really is lovely um so yeah as I say it's a self-drafted shirt it's quite an oversized shirt um and big puff sleeves it's the first time I've made that style I'd made a quick twirl of the bodice the body main body part of it um and I'd say there's maybe a few tweaks I would want to make to it I do think I had thought of going down that route for a pattern but now I'm thinking something slightly different which I'm going to be trying out soon um I am still I'm definitely planning on releasing some patterns soon 
so it is um it's just it's absolutely gorgeous it's really really lovely um the fabric feels amazing to wear it's just so nice and there's so many colors to pair with it it's just so beautiful it really really is lovely um i'll pop some pictures in of it but it's just it's a stunning stunning fabric and i made the shirt because i think it'll be perfect for as like a beach cover up sort of thing and um, when we go on holidays as well and the colours will be lovely too so yeah I'm really happy with that one um, and then the last thing that I made at the weekend last weekend for Easter Sunday was a another self-drafted pattern this time using my close fitting bodice which you can learn how to make in our workshops that are coming up in May so we have a bodice block workshop and a trouser block workshop coming up and they are there's still spaces on both if you want to attend um but yeah you can learn how to make the bodice that we do and the sleeve that we do can then be used to adapt into so many different patterns like the dress that i made um, I'll pop some pictures in. So it was using the Aster's Mauve Viscose Rayon, which again has been sitting in my stash for way too long. And I just, oh, the colours again are just so, so lovely. Um, I wore a belt and black boots and tights with it and it was just, it was perfect. And it has a lovely soft um, puffy sleeve. And then the skirt was just an A-line pleated skirt. So I quite like that style instead of a gathered skirt. Um, I think it just takes away some of the bulk from the waistline because um, my waist would be smaller than my hips. So if there's too much gathers there, it kind of just, it doesn't look right. I don't like it. Um, so yeah, I do a pleated skirt, which still gives you that volume and swoosh in the skirt, but it's not as sort of um, puffy. It's a wee bit more streamlined so yeah i'm really 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 pleased with it uh, abs i just absolutely love that style i did i debated between doing a square neck doing a square neck on it um but i already had the facings cut out for the round neck so i just I stuck with that um i do think the forest the painted foliage and forest viscose i have it from our own range and i might try the square neck hack with that um or square neck version i think that could be i'm leaning towards that now for that pattern or for that fabric um either with my close fitting block or i wouldn't mind trying it with a more looser fitting easy fit block as well so we'll have to see which one i go for but yeah again i absolutely love that dress i will get so much wear out of it and um, it's been a while since i've made something with a more fitted block i've been doing more like the looser styles recently so it was nice to go back to that more fitted style um and yeah that's what i've been making recently i am working on one other thing so i cut this and the Aster's mauve dress out at the same time this is the trend patterns I don't know where I put the instructions I'll put a picture in it's the trend patterns gallard wrap dress so um, it comes with the wrap dress version but also a v-neck version I'm making the v-neck um, in this hazy meadow viscose rayon again and it is a oh, it's so gorgeous so this darker color has sold out but we have it with the white background and it is so lovely perfect for spring be really really nice for spring dress so it has this really big collar with the ruffle and i've done the ruffle in a black cotton sateen that was in my stash um i do think with the cotton being a wee bit thicker i maybe should have done the ruffle the ruffles folded over and then gathered and set in i maybe should have done a narrow rolled hem on my overlocker to cut down on a wee bit of the bulk because it is quite hard to get these points turned out and a few loose threads that I need to tidy up but yeah it was tricky getting these turned out um I was sharing it over on Instagram I when I'm doing this style of a collar I try to get more of the fabric gathered in here at the point because then you're trying to turn it out and it needs to go the opposite way so if you 
don't have enough fabric here it kind of like pulls and it doesn't sit right but then the problem with that is you have a lot of fabric in here that you're trying to not get caught when you're putting the extra layer so it is lined so whenever you were trying to whenever i was trying to sew the bottom layer on this kept getting caught i think it was this side caused quite a few issues and um, there was there was a lot of unpicking but i'm really happy with them and um, so i have the bodice nearly together and the facing on i just need to clip into that and understitch it but i'm just because it's easter holidays we only have one more few more days left here over in northern ireland i know some places have a bit longer but um yeah i've just been dipping in 15 20 minutes here and there when i can to get this done so i managed to get the collar and the facing on um and then had to give up so i'll hopefully get it understitched today then i need to attach just the sleeves and the skirt which will hopefully be a wee bit quicker because the, the majority of the work does go into the collar um i have made this dress before in uh meat milk fabric in one of the sota or sina um like sort of checked fabrics I'll put a picture in but it's in the frog green one of my favorite greens um and i really love it and i was looking at it recently thinking i do need to make another one i really want to make it a ditzy fabric and this was in my stash i thought do you know what that is actually perfect for it i think it'll be easy to wear um in winter black tights and boots or during the summer i think it'll work as well with trainers or high tops or something and bare legs so yeah i'm excited to get um, that one done i'm talking about summer i don't know why because it's raining here we have weather warnings coming in we have storms coming in it's just oh the weather is just not playing ball at the moment um i am finding it i am finding it difficult to know what to wear at the moment it's we're in that sort of it's i'm definitely i'm fed up with winter i don't want to wear heavy jumpers and cardigans and I don't want to be wrapped up anymore I want to wear my spring clothes but it's really really hard to do that when it's constantly raining and it's really cold so it is it's I'm fighting I'm struggling at the moment and it's yeah it's quite annoying and I, even with when it comes to sewing I really want to sew some spring summer stuff but I, it's just I don't see the point because I'll not be able to wear it because it's just so miserable outside <laughs> but hopefully the weather will start to improve soon I think having Easter so early this year as well probably hasn't helped because usually come Easter then you're ready to start thinking about spring and because it's that wee bit earlier it's just not quite the weather's not ready for it yet hopefully it will be soon um but yeah so that is what I'm working on at the moment. There's two other things that I'm planning to work on next. So, and I have the fabrics here. I have shown you them. Um, oh, so, but they do go very well together. So they do. So I have my denim and this still needs pre-washed, which is why it's sort of, which is why it's sort of sitting in a big lump. Um, I am working on, I had a stretch denim in my stash and I'm working on a toile at the moment for a pair of jeans. So once I have them finished and I know I'm happy with the fit, I'm going to get started on these. And they're going to be either like a sort of wide-ish straight leg, more just a straight, um, but not like a slim straight. <laughs> Whenever I was looking at jeans and a lot of them, the straight legs are quite narrow to me, whereas I find a straight leg to be just straight down a wee bit wider at the bottom. But that's the style they're going to be. Um, they are the new craft house everyday jeans which I've made before and I um I've always been quite happy with the fit but I think in the stretch denim they're going to be that wee bit more comfortable so yeah I am working on them at the moment I had run out of thread which was what put a stop to them and then I started working on this dress so I will get back to them once this is finished and then my other idea for a shirt for my other idea for a shirt think I'm going to test it out in this it's um one of our cotton lawns we had recently it's called deco and there was a few different colors in it and yeah I was I've been trying to decide 
I usually like at the start of each season to think about what I want, like what I'm planning to make, um, just to sort of get my ideas sort of straight. But at the moment, I just want to wear jeans and shirts, which I do think is probably a good option because at least with the likes of a shirt, you can layer tops underneath it, layer your thermals underneath it for when the weather is just not um, quite ready for shirts on their own. So, yeah, I think that's really what... I'm looking to wear, um, but I do need new jeans. So that's maybe what's holding me back from wearing it a wee bit more. So yeah, I definitely want to get these jeans made. They're very high up on my list. Um, I think they're the sort of style too that I can wear with trainers and socks so that I'm not too cold or with the likes of wee pumps um, and sandals then whenever it does get a wee bit warmer. So yeah, these two are high on my list. This one I have been doing... <laughs> Do you know, it's probably something slightly more similar fit to the bodice on this. So still quite loose, but more fitted around the shoulders and the sleeves. Um, and I have loads of different ideas for sleeves and collars and different details that I want to sort of put together. So that's why my like I do I really, really I have ideas and I do need to get them made. So that's why I'm thinking I might get this shirt drafted to see if it's going to turn out how I think it's going to turn out and um, I think it will but yeah so that's why this is now getting pushed up my list and if it works in this I have a few other viscose in my stash that are for shirts which I'll probably make it up in as well but the cotton will be a wee bit easier for starting out and um, for doing the the first version of it so yeah um, that's my plans at the moment and what I've been making um, I think I've done all right considering the sea glass shirt I did draft that from scratch more or less because I had an idea again that I had to follow through with Um, I am really happy with it but there's a few tweaks that I want to make and as I say I feel like I want to try something a wee bit more fitted Um, so yeah we'll see how that goes we have quite a few we have two new collections in I'm trying to think yeah two Cousettes part two of their spring collection is in and oh my goodness it's got me written all over it Um, it's all they all feature this really lovely like spring emerald green and it is just gorgeous there is two viscoses a viscose a viscose twill a cotton and then a cotton a check cotton a really lovely check cotton and then a cotton gabardine I love their gabardines they're quite light and soft um, and it's in that really lovely green shade so yeah I, I want the whole lot I think I'll probably get the whole lot <laughs> to be honest and um, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous it's it's so my colours the floral is so bright there's like pinks and oranges and yellows and maybe purple like there's really really bright colours on this gorgeous emerald spring green background and it is just so beautiful and then we also have Atelier Jupe's latest collection in their spring or summer collection. I can't remember which one it is. Um, spring collection. Um, it's in at the moment as well and it is gorgeous too. And yeah, I think that is everything. Um, oh, it's not everything. We have two new blog posts as well. So we did a spring trends roundup and split it into two different parts. So the first part was the key colours for this season. Um, so yeah, there was... Um, so yeah, the first part was all about the key colours for the spring summer season ahead. Um, so looking at the colours were white, which is just... White is always going to come back for spring and summer. There's no... Um, sort of getting away from that and which makes it a really good um, sort of piece to invest in whether you like white or off-white we do have both those sort of shades like a more creamy white or whatever it is you need um, and then red red has been quite popular for the last few while and that is continuing but a more like darker red which is quite nice for spring summer if you're not into the real like pastel sugary shades and um, all the typical summer colours and um, I think the red is very nice and we do have some really lovely 
red fabrics in at the moment if that's for you then there is lilac um which i'm quite happy with now the lilac it's more of that sort of pastely lilac whereas i prefer darker more dusky sort of lilac but still um there's a lot of lilac in the sea glass viscose so that's perfect for that trend and then the other one is pale blue which again the sea glass has loads of and we have the pale blue here and a wee bit of darker red so i've got two trends in one there um but yeah so we're going into all those colors that are going to be big for this season with inspiration on how you can recreate some of the looks and then part two was looking at the key trends so like the key garments that um are going to be popping up you'll see them probably filtering through in down to the high street i would say you'll see a few um pattern designers recreating some of them as well so you will start to see this all um filtering down through to the the sewing industry and um, there's the likes of peplum tops which i'm quite excited about because i have one of my own patterns that i've been working on does have the peplum version so that's um yeah and i really like wearing it um it's quite a nice style to wear and then what else there's polo shirts so polo tops and um, What's the other ones? High waisted trousers, which is all I really wear, so I'm very happy with that. Um, what was the last one? Was there was knotted details. So this one, whenever I started looking through all the different catwalk collections, I did notice quite a lot of them had maybe one or two um styles it was either like knitwear that looked like you know the the sleeves had been tied around your shoulders but it was actually part of the garment or sort of like a low slung knot on the sort of hip line or waistline and it is actually a really really nice detail to add to a garment and there's quite a few patterns out there already that have this detail and it does create like a nice sort of ruching effect um across certain areas which gives it can be quite not that i like using the word flattering but it can be quite flattering um it can hide a lot of things so yeah especially around the the tummy area so yeah i'm looking forward to trying a few styles like that there is a Cezanne dress um i cannot remember the name right now but it's a jersey dress and it has like the knot and i know style arc have a pattern and there's a maybe a new look pattern as well that has the same style and it looks like it's really really comfy with it being and then there's the ruska dress by named clothing from their first book that's one as well i do have that um maybe i'll try it but it's nice for a more fitted jersey dress to then have that wee bit of sort of gathering detail around the the sort of tummy area um can be nice and yeah and then boho boho is coming back um i have always been a fan of the boho trend um but especially it was very big back in sort of early 2000s um with wedge cork heel sandals and floaty dresses and tops and yeah necklaces and belts and all it's just i love it so i would say if you have a pair of cork heeled wedge sandals get them back out for the summer and um, because they are going to be big and yeah that you're going to see a lot of that trend filtering down through as well which i'm really really excited about um so yeah we have those two blog posts i will link them down below and you can go and have a wee read and check them out um and yeah that is it for me <laughs> this time i as i say i am probably going to be getting some new fabrics so keep an eye out um hopefully next weekend i will have another video for you all with what i have been buying recently and yeah that's it i hope you're all having a lovely easter and i hope the weather really hope the weather's just going to improve for everyone but we'll see we'll get this weekend of storms over us it's not looking too good over here especially in northern ireland but we'll get through it um so yeah i hope you're all having a lovely easter and if you're having a break having a lovely break and i will chat to you all soon bye